Unong ilam kaliang persia hayung dorbar u Dr. Mukul Sangma u lakno bakani ke sarkar Meghala Democratic Alliance kelapan suk banyak ti doyong bian ki brio ha kening jela. Haba kren menta kasngi se kelap thai kebor u Dr. Mukul u long bakajingkang ti doyong kelas dang nedu senam arja kat sau. Hendai haduk menta kejing syalan doyong kadang don. Kabamut bakajing ti doyong bian ke yait. U long bakajing mut dor jong kening sarkar ke ba menta kelas A Banyak pelat kang di Duyong, hapon Rio Benai, nama bahadu mata kam sim la ulong setia. Ulong bakal adon kiseng kiba ujor sya ke Supreme Court, ban ujor persya ya kejing peteng kejing ti Duyong Bian. Katkum kejing ong Dr. Mukul, kani ke sarkar, tang penyok ti Duyong Bian, kelapan kediak kam hadu laingut ki ofisa, tang hapo kini ke kenyat benai. Ulabu jengkli, kei kejing mut ban penkediak kam ya ki ofisa, kemba bujuli sabti, bat kani ke ladon AA Shalendan. Ulang mak jumpa kenderaan kam ya kofisa kalak kata ya karoi kapar bat kam tam ki video ki badan segi jaka nong kendong bat kene kan pensyong kenderaan ya korkom sencar Ulang bahaba ki pajba ki sengo bakim yo ya kejeng bisyar hok syai kinlet bat kanom don syu kejeng syania hagir kom terikam ke sorkar Udak romokul long bagi don ki ofisa ketenat PWD ki belasak pen kenderaan kam tang namar bakim kak ngu ya ki menteri sorkar bat kene gade ke kam jom kene ke sorkar bah mentah the ruling of the Honorable NGT in 2014 and the fallout, fallout thereof and all the uh, follow-up action response from all concerned including the government and the stakeholders which includes the minors and how things have been following and how uh, there has been uh, follow-up by the state government not just to uh, implement the various uh, uh, directions which came from the Honorable NGT uh, in relation to the coal mining activities and their uh, transportation thereof, but also in relation to how to then facilitate uh, proper legal mining so that mining can take place. Now what has happened is that uh, there are two things which has happened. If they are voted to power, then within six months they'll be ensuring that the NGT ban is lifted. Now what uh, gave them this kind of uh, thinking, this kind of uh, ultimate, uh, uh, I must say, the boldness with which they actually uh, promised the people is a different issue and that, has to, that is to be left to all of you uh, to read between the lines, analyze and be analytical and uh, ultimately engage on the further narratives. But here, important issue here is that, okay, after the formation of this government, now, <coughs> uh, there has been reaction from uh, people, including some of the NGOs who have gone to the Honorable Supreme Court to seeking intervention from the Honorable Supreme Court, uh, where is, there is an allegation that illegal mining is still taking place. That is the issue. So as opposition, what we have tried to fi find out is that there are a number of developments which have taken place after the new formation of the new government. One is that the officers were transferred left and right. Okay, officers, not just the officer of one department. Now, officers who may be linked to implementing this NGT order hmm, and the directives uh, further, which was uh, based on the directive from Honorable Supreme Court, uh, because as we all know, when the tra transportation was stopped for the, for, by the Honorable NGT, the miners have gone to the Honorable Supreme Court to seek uh, relief from the Honorable Supreme Court to further enable them to transport those uh, balanced coal quantity which are still in the mines based on the assessment. Therefore, there are a number of uh, authorities who were implementing the directives of both Honorable NGT and the Honorable Supreme Court. If you look at the manner in which government has acted upon, there's a reason to believe that they were trying to pressurize the officers to engage in facilitating illegal mining. Number one is that after they removed the director of the mining and geology, they posted one officer who was also the earlier, uh, who was also uh, serving as the Joint Secretary of the Mining and Geology Department and also the MD of the MMDC. Subsequently, this officer also was sorted out and they brought in somebody else. Now what is the reason? Why the second officer was again transferred 
within such a short period of time. Therefore, it requires a proper investigation to find out as to what has happened after the third officer was posted. Has anything has happened because of the pressure from the uh, people who are in power, the ministers? Because please remember that mining and geology is also being helped by the chief minister himself. So therefore, there is a need to find out what has happened after the removal and transfer of the second director who was posted and what is still happening. Left and right, SP, then the subordinate huh, officers, now police officers. The police officers, the police organization is an indispensable part of the administration of justice, the whole system of administration of justice. If some important cases are being investigated, now in the best interest of justice, the investigation process must be completed at the earliest, charge sitting must be done at the earliest, so that justice is not delayed. And when this kind of manipulative transfers are happening, that means they are trying to dislocate the whole momentum of the process of investigation, thereby somehow indirectly creating a situation where the whole process of administration of justice get delayed. This is not good. This is dangerous trend. Because when people feel that, okay, justice is not being delivered, then where will the people go? Which door they will knock? Therefore, people should not be subjected to that kind of perception where they feel that justice is never going to be delivered. Therefore, the resultant frustration and the resu resultant lack of confidence in our whole democratic system. That should not be allowed to be, I must say, even, even allowed to uh, grow, nip it in the bud. But if you do that, then I'm afraid people will start having complete lack of confidence in the system. That will have a whole frustration as, as the culmination of this whole development, which is not really good for democracy.